Hello. Thank you for watching this YouTube video today. Today we are going to be experimenting with Flame Totem and exactly what you can do to make Flame Totem better for you. Um, Flame Totem is a totem that does fire damage. If you look here, oh, it's already in here. It has a 4% chance to crit. Its damage effectiveness is 20%. And it deals 4 to 60 fire damage, but that's actually. Uh, yeah, and that's its actual damage, but any other damage that you add to it afterwards is cut down a bit. Uh, the totem lasts 15 seconds, summons a totem which uses this skill. And 56 mana cost. It's a level 15 fire totem. Um, and other gems can increase if it, its effectiveness, but we'll show you what it looks like without anything first. So, just to give you guys an idea. Oh, this isn't merciless. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna go to go to somewhere I can actually get beat on while I'm doing this. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So here we go. So Flame Totem, it's just a totem when you put it on the ground, it acts just kind of like a flamethrower. See? And it just does damage to anything that comes near it. And its its range is actually pretty large, and it, it hits monsters pretty close to it. It's actually a pretty effective totem. It does decent damage, although just to keep in mind, this totem is like it requires level 59 and I'm in level 28 zone um, but I, I'm just mainly showing you what it would look like if you actually stacked fire damage you stacked other damage to make it more effective um, it would be similar to this at you know lower levels it's just I'm showing you with a higher base um, flame totem there's ways of increasing the damage of the fi the flame totem uh, w by using support gems. You can use greater multiple projectile because it actually gives uh, projectiles. So as you do this and put it down here, it gives a huge spread. And the crazy thing about this is flame totem shotguns meaning any monsters that are right next to it are hit by all five projectiles at once. Um, monsters that are away from it are will only be hit by like one or two of the projectiles, but they still get hit by more than one projectile. So just using GMP increases its damage by a lot, a crazy amount, um, which is kind of, you know, it gives you an idea of how you're you're going to be able to scale this without many nodes. So there's that. The other thing that you could also try with it is faster casting. Faster casting will increase the how fast it actually shoots out the flame bursts. And as you can tell, it says cast time. 0.14 and normally it's a 0.16 without it so it's a little bit of increased effectiveness um, you can just do this for now and then after that you could do other things too it doesn't since it only has a four percent chance to crit you can't really scale it with crit you could add like added chaos damage is really good i don't have added chaos damage but just to give you an example um, added lightning damage really doesn't do a whole lot because it's only it only gives you <laughs> twenty percent effectiveness of whatever gem you put on here so one to eight damage is actually you know only like one to two damage after all the effectiveness is cut out on it. So the best way to scale it really is just having the greater multiple projectile, 
putting it down and letting it rip. The other thing that affects it actually pretty greatly, which I actually don't have one on me, is faster projectiles. Faster projectiles also increases the range of it by quite a bit. The other things that increase its effectiveness too is you could also get this somehow if you work this into your tree somehow. It's kind of hard because it's on the opposite side. There's not really, I mean, you could go through spell damage if you were a scion, getting some cast speed, getting some mana, getting some auras, and then maybe getting that might not be the best way of doing it. It's not, but I mean, it, this node is nice because it does increase the damage of it, increases the, how far those flame bursts go, and the dexterity might help you with just equipping things. Otherwise, the normal way to uh, scale it would just be fire damage, elemental damage. Since it doesn't crit really that often, I wouldn't really worry about holy fire and burning damage. I just worry more about fire damage and elemental damage. I believe you might even be able to use spell damage. Yeah, spell damage works with it too, so you can grab spell damage if you'd like. Um, spell damage is going to be a little harder because, at least on the tree, you could get on your wand or something, but on the tree, there's not really, you know, the biggest notes are going to be like right by the witch, right by the shadow, and then after that you don't really get as effective uh, nodes. You could get cast speed. Cast speed would work pretty good with it. It would add a lot of damage to it. So it really cast speed and just percentage damage would increase the damage quite a bit. The other thing you could do, and if you use two two of them at the same time, that would be a lot of damage as well. Flame Totem is actually a really good spell. Um, I would probably stay away from getting, because you're going to have enough damage from just elemental damage, fire damage, and other things. You're not really going to need the totems uh, damage. You could get this one. This is the only one I'd maybe think about getting. And then the Ancestral Bond. If you want your totems to live longer, you could always come down here and try to get Ironwood. It might be a little harder for you to do if uh, you're like one of these two. So yeah, that's that's how I would work uh, with Flame Totem. The other thing that you could do with Flame Totem that actually works pretty well if you want to be more of a support build is you could get Fending, which would add knockback to your Flame Totem. You could also use the Skill Gem knockback, and it would also add effectiveness to the Flame Totem. Otherwise, I think that's all I really have to say about Flame Totem, but... Thank you for watching this video, and I will be going over uh, spell totems next in my YouTube videos. Thank you for watching.